Hi guys. So let's look at this question here. I need to find the domain of fx here. So basically trying to find the domain of fx means I need to uh, take care of a couple of things actually. Okay, so let's see this. So when we are trying to find domain of fx, it particularly means that uh, I need to take only those value of x for which fx is defined. Okay, so values of x for which fx is defined. Okay. That is meant by find. That is meant by finding domain. For example, if we have f x is equal to one by x, then its domain should be x can take all real number, but x should not be equal to zero because at x equal to zero, it will be undefined here. That will be undefined. Okay, so that's the domain, right? Second thing is whatever we have something under root. So if I, for example under root a, so here if uh, if we have something like this, let's say for example, uh, let me write here. f of x is equal to root x so that means fx will be defined when x is always positive so this is a domain now so x is always greater than equal to 0 okay so fx is root x so x is greater than equal to 0 always right okay so that's so now in this question we're trying to find the domain of fx here we first need to take care of this condition of log here okay now in log what happens so whenever we write log of a base b it in this a and b is defined when a is positive when b is positive and when b is not equal to 1 so three things are here when we write the statement uh, when we write the function log of a base b similarly if we have here in this question we have here log of x point 2 so first of all it's x that is a here that is x should be positive so x should be positive right now uh, after we make this x as positive here okay So now I need to solve this equation. So whatever value is the under, whatever we have under root here, so that whole under root thing will be greater than equal to zero. I can write here. So whole under root thing, right? So basically, see, you can see a lot of lot of log of x base point two. So what I can assume here initially, I can assume that uh, log of x base point two is equal to t. I can assume. Okay. So now. uh how we can solve it so for example if we have situation here uh, this is log of uh, this is log point basis point 2 here okay and this is uh, point 0016 correct if we try to refer from point 2 so basically it is 2 raised to 4 16 so point 2 raised to 4 will be equal to 16 right and this is x here okay this is so this point 2 4 this is x outside right So that basically means that I can write here four log of base is point two. This is point two plus log of x point two. Okay, and you know that this becomes one. That that becomes ultimately it becomes four plus t. Okay, this whole expression becomes four plus t. Right. Similarly, this three will come here. So what I can write now? So let me just uh, write this. So all these values will be greater than equal to zero under root x. X should be. Greater than equal to zero. So first term would be t cube here, t cube plus three will come here. That becomes three t. Now this three uh, t now into it is we solve this part. This part is four plus t. This is into four plus t, and then plus thirty six. This all is greater than equal to zero, right? So now we can just solve it. T cube plus three t. I can t. I can take t cube plus three uh, t is square. Plus twelve t plus thirty six is greater than equal to zero. Okay, now I can even solve this. I can take t square common t plus three plus twelve common t plus three that is greater than equal to zero. Uh, so t plus three into t square plus twelve is greater than equal to zero. Right now t uh, square plus twelve is always greater than zero. Right, this is always greater than zero because t square is even power. Even power is always greater than equal to zero. If you add twelve, it will be always be positive. That means so what I'm uh, what I should uh, what I'm uh, concerned here is that t plus three is left. So basically now I can write that t plus three should be greater than equal to zero because if the product is greater than equal to zero and one term is already positive, so other term also has to be positive or can be get, can be equal to zero, right? So positive or can be equal to zero means greater than equal to zero. So t plus three is greater than equal to zero. That means uh, I can write here t uh, plus three is greater than equal to zero. 
Now what is t in my case? So t is greater than or equal to minus 3. I assume this as t. So log of x base 0 0.2 is greater than or equal to minus 3. So if we have base as 0 0.2 here, so what will happen? I'll when I take this point two to the uh, left hand side, it basically reverses the inequality. That means x is less than or equal to point two raised to minus three. This happens whenever we have log of point. This base is between zero to one. Okay, so this base is in between zero to one. Okay, I'll write the complete property after this question. Okay, the log. This is zero. This is zero to one. Okay, so. Now what if I solve it, I'll be getting x is less than or equal to 0.2 raised to minus that is 1 by 5 raised to minus 3. That is x is less than or equal to 5 raised to minus 1 into minus 3. That means x is less than or equal to 5 cube. That means x is less than or equal to 125. So what is my final answer guys? So x is always positive. x is less than or equal to 125. So I can write the answer x belongs to x0 not included, 125 included. Okay. And that's the answer for this question 0 to 125 it's a very good question guys okay so uh, two three concepts here actually in this question uh, this one was a good when it when you reverse the inequality uh, when when basis actually between 0 to 1 i'll just write the property now okay so i hope all of you got this question right okay just let me write the property of log here okay so let's look at this property of log guys okay uh, that is uh, inequality so we did in the last in this question no so see basically the first one is whenever we have log of x base a greater than p so we have two results here the first one is simply you can just put a here so that means x is greater than a raised to p when a is greater than one so base is greater than one right so see log is i told you log is defined log of x base a is defined only when x is positive a is positive and a is not equal to one right so simply i can push this uh, a here and it will become a raised to p x is greater than a raised to p if a is more than one otherwise it will be like x is less than a raised to p whenever we have a is less than one so obviously whenever i write a is less than one it automatically means that a is between zero and one okay and x whenever i write x is less than a raised to p automatically it means that x is more than zero because x is argument here that's for the definition of log x will always be positive in second case whenever we have log of x base a less than p okay so in that case again if a is positive i can simply put here so in that case what will happen x is less than a raised to p whenever a is greater than one and x is less than uh, a raised to p kehne ka matlab hai ki obviously it will always be positive huh? but more than zero that automatically is there right so if you don't write this it doesn't make any any uh, difference okay and also in second case what will happen if log of x base a is less than p so now whenever a is less than one so in that case x will be greater than a raised to p so when i write a is less than one it automatically means that a should a is more than zero okay this is the property of log you need to know know before doing such questions okay thank you So in the last question, we have used this property. Okay, this property wa was used in this question, which we did. Uh, that is uh, when you take this uh, towards uh, when base was 0 0.2 here. So the inequality sign will reverse. Okay, this is the property used in the in, in this question here. Okay, thank you. Let me ask a doubt feature and this is absolutely free for everyone. So you can just download the Unacademy app. It is available in the website and app. And uh, in this, you can crop any, uh, you can uh, click any picture, you can crop the question part and you can submit. And within four to six hours, you get that solutions. Okay. And that is mostly in the video form. So you can, this is absolutely free for everyone. So please use this feature guys. Uh, you can ask up to three doubts in a go till it is clear. And again, you can post three doubts. Okay. You can also uh, get function in English or Hindi depending on your preferred language. So this is this feature is available in your website and your app. It is absolutely free of cost for everyone. So just go uh, to Unacademy. You can post any doubt and you get a video solution by our top faculties. Okay, thank you.